everybody. Happy holiday day. We're literally just getting ready to go. It's about nearly 10 o'clock actually. And I've been packing all morning, sorting I've, these monkeys out. I didn't have a proper breakfast. You're such a fibber. I didn't. I just had cereal. <laughs> clearly not enough. You can have a snack before we go. Yeah. Yeah, the kids are ready. Ready to go? You excited? I'm not eat more of my sweets. Everyone excited? Oh, yeah. Is Got the course? most important thing. Why now? Why? This is all our packing. Two suitcases, we're all sharing half each. And then all this extra stuff. This is Violet's big bag of stuff. This is shoes. Well, shoes, baby, game. Not too bad. Is it? Coats. We're all packed. Ready to go? You gonna keep the coats on? Everyone excited? Flying saucers. Okay, why not? Oh. Wait, Dad, don't worry, I'm giving you one. <laughs> They're going to be entertained, aren't you? First stop, Bristol. Oh. Huh? Bristol? Bristol. Oh. Yeah, first stop, Bristol. Aaron 50, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> kind of halving the time because it's going to take quite a while we're going all the way out to Fishguard Bay which is further than I thought isn't it mm. I was like yeah we're going to 10B yeah I booked 10B and I kept telling everybody at work and Graham was telling everybody we're going to 10B oh actually if you look exactly where we're going we're going about about 50 minutes from 10B further on so right on, right on the coast so oh well be worth it, won't it? What's wrong? Who's not sort of strapped in? You. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the beat was. We've been driving for about nearly an hour. Nearly an hour yet? Okay, we. How many hours should I do? Just three, maybe maximum. So we've just come on the outskirts of Bristol and we've just come to Bristol Zoo, Zoo for the next couple of hours because I thought well instead of just having a quick like half an hour pit stop we might as well actually you know do something here we've never been to this zoo it's really quite um supposed to be quite good it's got good reviews so yeah that's what we're doing it's a bit drizzly it's nice and quiet though isn't it it's always a good thing yeah cup up small Go see the penguins, bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, that Look at them. Oh, An underwater seal and penguin tunnel. I'm going to eat that later. Stop raining now which is good we um have pretty much done it all i think if we had more time and if it was a like a sunny day i think we probably could have spent the whole day here there's so much but we've got ahead we've got to start heading back to well heading to where it was actually so we're gonna do that get on <laughs> We have had a quick pit stop at Tesco. We're currently, actually, weirdly, we're right near um, Bluestone, which is where me and Violet went when she was like two and a half or something, like a long time ago. Good, it's a good four years ago, actually. Um, yeah, so we've just popped in Tesco just to get a quick um, load of food, didn't we? Yep. Um, I've been driving for two hours. Graham had a little power nap, didn't you? Not really, but yeah. 
You wear tight though, aren't you? Yeah, but I didn't really know that. But yeah, so he had a little rest. So I drove for two hours and now we're just literally doing the last hour. Right, finally right. <laughs> Bit of a late check-in. I want to give you a tour before it gets trash. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. What do you mean why? Right, door. Come in, open plan. It's like a co the coastal lodge. It's one of the newest ones, I think, from last year. So, it's all beautiful. And this is a three bed one. <laughs> Look how cute the mirror is. And this is the kitchen. And then we've got the, oh my God, look at the view. Actually, we didn't, we didn't actually order the, or book the three bed. But when I booked the two bed, they rang me the next day and said that someone had already fully booked the whole week in the one that I had already booked for. So they upgraded me for free. So I was just like, great. So we didn't actually, you know, specifically book this one, but oh my God, it's amazing. Purely when you walk through here. So this is room number one. That's mine. That's what, what Violet's having. And I've got my own So telly. pretty. I've got my own telly. <gasps> Oh my Mommy, goodness, it's so coastal and pretty. And then this is the bathroom. And then this one is Alistair's room. It basically looks like the other one. So this sleeps, sleeps up to six people. And this is mine and Graham's bedroom. Look at this. And then we've got our own ensuite as well. How gorgeous is that? That's what the lodge is called, this one. Um, and look at all this. Look at all this. I can't believe it. This is crazy. Roger. It's crazy amount of stuff. Yeah, got How lovely. they in cupboard, is it? I was looking in the fridge and freezer. Oh God, they're massive. I know. And then this is like a... You could just live it. It's like a microwave oven. I know, we could. This could be like a proper house, couldn't it? It's huge. It's amazing. Comes with all the stuff. Oh, empty drawers. Look at that. I just love the the, the smell. It just smells new, doesn't it? it? Smells. It just feels so clean and fresh, and oh, love it. So like my style of house as well, like country and chic, and I don't know, just the wood. I love the wood. Anyway, I've got to start cooking. Graham's exploring. It's a bit damp out there. I've got Graham cooking. Never usually cooks, do you? Oh yeah, that's a lie. Mainly me though, because obviously he's at work, aren't you? Working, working, working. So we've got the heaters on the go, haven't we? Ow, 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 ow. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing? We're gonna have a run. We're gonna go for a run. Look at the views. Look at that. Look at our amazing view. Let's get changed before we Hot tub, hot tub, hot tickety tub. I think it's at 8 o'clock. I slept okay, it's really warm. <laughs> it's really a bit too hot actually. So I did wake up once. Mm -hmm. Did you sleep alright, Alistair? Yeah, I was the first one to wake up. As always, Graham's doing bed, bless him. Tickle, tickle, tickle. They do pamper pod packages. So they've got these um, wood, wooden pods, they've got beds in there and they've got like therapists in there so you can book in, obviously you've got to pay, book in to have, they've got like massages and hot stone facials and look, pamper pods, pamper pod treatments. I'm really tempted actually, mini facial. So we've got a coffee morning at half past no ten, no you can meet everyone and have a free bacon butty and a Welsh cake or two. Yamo, and then we've got a barbecue tomorrow in the evening. Let's come up for my run. Hilly, rainy, feels good though, it just feels like a sauna in here. Graham is cooking again. What are you cooking? Bacon and egg. Bacon and egg, using my pancake pan. There you go, hi. Good. <laughs> So I've got Yemo. So we've actually been, Graham's been my filming buddy and we've been filming a video for the end of the week that needs to come out. 
Just been tidying up. The kids are going to get their bake on in a minute and actually, well, cut out some biscuits. They're just in the fridge at the moment. But um, yeah, just chilling out, aren't we? Having a bit of a home day. 20 past 11. Apparently the hot tub is really, really hot. <laughs> and it's like a tub. And it's a tub. And it's hot. And it's really hot. Like the tub. outside hot. is cold. Yeah, Windy. Look at that. The views are amazing, eh? It's just a bit wet. <laughs> Child number one, being lazy and chilling. Do we just make some biscuits? Yeah. Child number two. Problem with being on holiday. You lose track of time and then you just eat whenever, don't you? Alright, look. Come on. Holidays are for getting fat. Yeah. Wait. Starry, starry sky. Mine is better than yours. Oh, Looks like a ghost fire. Yours break. What? Broke. I just picked up. Yeah. Uh, Mummy's gone to bed. They're all in there. Mm -hmm, but nice. Kids have done their baking. They have got their set up for later. Um, yeah, they're all obviously in the hot tub. I think I'm going to get in there too. None of them have brought their towels or anything out of them so I'm gonna have to obviously do that that's obviously the mum bit first time in a thing first time in a hot tub for the kids obviously it's so lovely isn't it we've got to get out Side to getting out of a hot tub when it's cold, that like everyone just gets freezing. Thankfully, I brought everyone's dressing gown though. I washed them all before I came, and I was like, I think we're gonna need those. And Graham was like, God, you're really overpacking. You know what are they all doing? They're all sat in their dressing gowns. We're just about to have a nice cup of tea. The kiddies have been making biscuits. We're gonna decorate them in a bit, I think. A little park on the site. Look at that, that's all it's got. It sings. That's a big slide. That's one way to do it. Nice and dry now. Oh, it's a little daisy. It's going on a um, 40 minute walk down to the beach. The um, Stony Beach and then if you go further on apparently you get to Sandy Beach with the pub so we'll see how far we get anyway. I'm so pleased we brought our wellies because it's pretty bad. Wow that's a bit we can see from our lodge can't we? Amazing. Cheapies on the journey. We made it finally to the Stony Lush Beach. How <laughs> How long does it take? 40 minutes? Yeah, it's quite long, I'm not going to lie, no, I did moan. <laughs> a bit, yeah. And I'm going to moan on the way back as well, I think. Because <laughs> it's it real, quite hilly. <laughs> the it's are loving it, totally in their element. I'm just chilling out, got my little my little stone, my big stone that I'm just laying on. So relaxing. Everyone is there. You can you see them? Right, now to do the long walk back. It's 20 to 4. Let's see how long it takes us. Biscuit decorating kids have kind of showered off because they were covered in mud and I've had to like scrub their jeans in the bath. Um, I'm biscuit testing. I was like testing the one that's kind of overdone. Is it nice? Mm-hmm. Very good. 
Well, decorating your one that you did, Greg. Mm -hmm. No fishing. No fishing one. Fish. Right, wine is out. We're having a nice easy dinner tonight. We're going for pizza. We've kind of been snacking all day, so I don't know how much the kids are going to eat. Do we, Greg? So, yeah, I feel super sleepy. We've got the, the heating on quite high just to dry out some of the kids' clothes. I've washed in the bath. And look how well the biscuits have turned out. They're doing a great job. Me and Gray obviously did some as well. Peasy dinner tonight. Pizza! Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. My face is so greasy. I put a face mask on last night, like um, one from when we went to Iceland. We got loads of, I got loads of like free samples of their masks that you put on when you're in the Blue Lagoon. And I put the, the white sort of mud mask on and I swear, can you see my face looks so shiny. I've just got up, made myself a cup of tea. Alistair's been up for about an hour, I think, but I've just made him some breakfast. Graham and Violet are having sleeps. Just still sound though, it's half past eight. Um, yeah, we had a, quite a chilled one last night. The kids actually, the park literally is like just there. So we watched the kids just play in the park while the sun was setting last night. It was gorgeous, such a gorgeous evening. Yeah, so I haven't managed to check the weather forecast yet. So I think we're gonna head out today and actually explore Fishguard. We're in um, Fishguard Bay. I don't know if I even mentioned that. We are staying at, at a resort called Fishguard Bay and they have just lodges and then they do have a couple of static caravans, I think, that you can book in for as well. But um, I would highly recommend the lodges with the hot tubs. It's amazing. So we've come to a trampoline place called Hangar 5, haven't we? Because it's a bit rainy and we thought, where should we go? So we've come on the outskirts of Fishguard. It's about 10, 15 minutes. The kids are out in this really cool arena. Knew I was coming. Zig zig. Ah. I swear this music is for the parents. Kids had a good hour of fun. This is, it's on the airfield. Oh. Hangar 5 airfield. And this big container. So I think we're gonna go get some lunch. It's just after 12, I think. We've come for lunch. The kids are having their sweet starters. Bacon, brie, and cranberry. Good. Garlic got a ham salad wrap. Yeah, no, okay. Right, so we are actually having just a little wander around Fishguard Quay, and then before we go up to the lodge, we've um, where we were previously is Have of Haversford West. I don't know if I've said that right, but it's a cute little town actually. And the kids done some pottery painting. Graham as well did pottery painting, which we're going to pick up on Friday. We did the bouncing trampoline things the kids done that um it's been a bit drizzly and it's been actually quite cold i've actually got my gloves on i really would wish i would have brought my thicker coat but um yes yeah, so we thought we'd stay in a little bit today so we're gonna explore the key or fish guard we're gonna do the park first right next, right next to the car right next to the key and then we'll have a wander through there won't we Right into the water. Right into the sea. Lazy bones. She don't want to walk. Actually, yeah, we can. Kids are having some bubbly fun. Bubble, bubbles. Look, the top covered over properly. <laughs> How is it? Is it lovely? It's warm and hot. <laughs> I've got my cook on. I am making spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight. With mushrooms, and then we've got broccoli. 
I'm gonna put the spaghetti in there, and then we've also got garlic bread, which is looks pretty much done already. So I'll turn that off actually. The kids have had baths and showers because we just let them go. I've well, we just watched them while they're in the hot tub for like 15, 20 minutes, and then me and Graham are gonna enjoy it a bit later when they're in bed. Get some use out of it since we've only been there once so far. We've only got tomorrow, and that's pretty much it, isn't it? Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman. So Louis and Justin. From chocolate to apples. <laughs> Nearly eight o'clock. The kids have decided to set up Monopoly on the kitchen floor. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so nice, that. Ooh, not the toast. <laughs> I'm putting my hand in. Yeah, don't get your top wet. Look at the views, Alex, It's a puppy. It's a dog. No, don't go over there. Just keep over there. No, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I can't believe it's like today, and then we are home tomorrow. We're actually planning to do something during the day tomorrow but we have to be out of here by 10 o'clock so today is going to be well we're actually going out for the day um one of my friends recommended to go to folly farm so we've already booked tickets to go there today and thankfully i think it's supposed to be a dry day <laughs> look at this massive bowl this is this is a bowl that i brought um for a video this week but it's come in handy because they don't actually have any big bowls here and we want pancakes this morning so i've just done a big batch like a double batch of pancake mix so that is what we're going to have for breakfast this is up as always aren't you he said he's already packed his stuff which is always good isn't it just made myself a nice cup of tea we were outside actually weren't we I can imagine reception out here is really really poor like in this lodge generally you cannot get any reception which is quite nice to be honest but those times when you do want a little bit of reception you have to kind of go out and it's not it's about 3g like on the um on the veranda bit here cakes are done didn't have one bad pancake at all so we've got two pancakes each a turtle one hang on hang on let's wait for daddy laid out our condiments what we've got okay we've arrived at Folly farm and it is busy really busy um i think we've been here me and Vi, when we went to bluestone like years ago violet was two and a half weren't you she doesn't remember obviously what's in there then i think they've updated it quite a lot since we've been here like over four years ago it's really different i think that's why i just didn't remember into the jolly barn <laughs> seeing a lot of anim farm animals. <laughs> it's quite weird going to obviously see farm animals, but you know, yeah. it's nice, isn't it? Oh look, this is Terence. Oh, this is Terence. Hey Terence, how's it going? Terence. Glorious day. Sun is out. Yeah, but then we've got to go back because this is just the added bit. Hi. I'm going to go on the lounge. I'm going to go on the lounge. I'm going to go on the hot tub. <laughs> Put the sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Hi. Okay, you're going on the Ferris wheel. Are you? Are you going to go on that? No. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No. You're going on with Fi and I'll go on with Alistair. Or something. Chill out for a few 
Looks like it. Maybe the rhinos are out there. We're home and it is hot up time. This one's all bubbly, look at Is it? So I've just sorted myself out and we are all heading out for dinner tonight. Obviously it's our last night so I don't like to cook last night. It's just hassle and we've got the dishwasher running anyway. Um, yeah, Graham's chosen a place just up the road. We we actually, when we come out of a fish guard bay resort, um, we always go right and that kind of heads back down, but we're gonna go up the hill this time and see what's up there. We're at a really cute pub that Graham found. Someone's the one guy. Called Freemasons. Yeah, Freemasons. Yeah. 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 Wino. That's the aftermath of our dinner. And these two switch, as always. <laughs> they literally finish off as much as they can and they just swap. Me and Vi got the apple and blackberry crumble with custard, and then Graham and mm -hmm. Alistair got the northy pie with custard. Morning, it is packing up day. Oh, it's <clears throat> nearly half past eight. We have to be out of the lodge by 10 o'clock. So we've been up, had breakfast. Violet's actually the only one still in bed. Um, yeah, so we're gonna say goodbye to these beautiful views today. Um, I think we're heading down to Tenby Beach. We're actually gonna pick up, um, you know, the painting stuff, the pottery that the kids did. Wednesday I think it was. We're picking them up today as well. All right, just finishing off the last the packing. Graham's getting the stuff in. I'm just checking, like double checking everything, making sure we haven't left anything behind. I only realized that we had a wine cooler like two days ago. So bad. Also, we only realized two days ago that we had Wi-Fi. <laughs> I was saying how the reception's so bad. Yes, but that's why we got free Wi-Fi for the week, but it's not that great, but we have been using it since we've known about it. Tour. Trying to put, rectify everything, straighten all the cushions up. And it looks nice and spacious now without our stuff in. It's theirs. Yep, that's theirs. I didn't bring an oven glove with me. Nice. <laughs> Tap the pottery stuff we did. This is Alistair's. Oh, it goes that way, obviously. This plate, very creative. Looks just like Peter Rabbit. So you can always remember him. Look at that. Amazing! All the colours and wow, Grace dog. So cool. Oh my god, that looks amazing. <sighs> we couldn't come all the way to South Wales and not visit Tenby, so that is where we are. <laughs> yeah, we're staying in Tenby. <laughs> we're not staying. We're just having a quick pit stop, go on the beach in the quay, and get some lunch. I think Violet's a bit windy though. I think colourful buildings. We've just been to the fudge and sticker rock store to get some souvenir things for family and walking down to the seafront. Cool camper.
<laughs> in the harbour. The sea is out. Gone. Exploring. I think we're going to get some lunch in a minute. Hi. Come on, soggy feet girl. I don't have soggy feet. <laughs> the colourful, colourful buildings. We're currently at this really cute restaurant and it's got some, it's called Sea View Restaurant and it's got some sea views. Shan't we? It's very coastal. Going over the bridge. My Wales. We've been driving for like Graham's we're going for about two hours now. Just over, yeah. We still got quite a bit of going to go, haven't we? We're probably not gonna get home any time before seven. I don't reckon. Really right, as you can see, I'm home. We've been home for just over an hour. We've had dinner been doing the dreaded packing away oh god it just takes so long um one load of wash is on i've got probably about three-ish maybe maybe four loads i reckon over the weekend because we already had stuff left in baskets as well so um yeah i just wanted to end my vlog purely because it was our kind of week away and it's kind of a good memories um, I'll leave everything linked in the description bar of where we stayed, where we went um, and yeah hopefully I will catch you all soon I hope you had a great half term back to normality next week crazy, goes so quick really but um, yeah I will see you all soon